The coach from the University of Georgia, Vince Dooley, is in town, and we were able to ask him a few questions about college football and the Bulldogs. After his team's surprising end of the season last year, we asked him what happened. Well, actually, uh, the fact that we were ranked a little bit higher than what we finished was attributed to the season before because the year before, 1978, was sort of a miraculous year. We There was five football games. The difference uh, in the five games was a total of six points. And because uh, of the really great year of 78, then people got too excited about 79. I do feel like that, uh, that we were a relatively young team last year and that uh, we have a, an excellent opportunity to be a good football team this year. At the end of each year, bowl games continue to fill the air with talk of number one teams in each conference, but there's been a lot of talk lately about a Super Bowl for college football. We asked Coach Dooley about his thoughts on that type of a game. I think that the only chance that we will ever have of having a playoff system will be perhaps a two-team playoff. And a two-team playoff might uh, eliminate the two biggest criticisms about a playoff system. One is the academic criticism, and that is that if you got into a 16 or an 8 or even a 14 playoff, that it would drag the season on too long and there would be too many classes missed. Uh, the second big objection would be the bowl and the bowls have been in existence a long, long time, and most of the teams do not want to hurt the old established bowls, the rose, the sugar, the cotton. Uh, so uh, that way, uh, if they had a two-team playoff, one game, after all the bowl games were over, I think that's the only possibility. The last two years, for instance, it would, would have been Alabama and Southern Cal in a college Super Bowl trying to determine which team is number one. And I think it's the best way to have one and the only chance that we'll ever have for a college playoff system, which I think would be a great, a great thing for the game. Horace Walker was a number one choice for a number of teams across the U.S. last year, and he ended up with the Georgia Bulldogs. Coach Dooley says that he's a big asset for his team. Well, he has every reason to come to Georgia. He lived right in the middle of the state in Wrightsville, Georgia. He's a very talented athlete. Uh, what he wants academically, and he is a serious student, we have at Georgia. Uh, that is uh, a criminology. He wanted to fo uh, follow law enforcement and, and perhaps get into the FBI. Uh, so we have that, uh, which uh, would take him through a law course at the University of Georgia. Uh, so we had what he wanted academically. Uh, He's uh, close to home. His folks wanted to see him play. So he had every reason to come. He was just such a highly recruited player that it did confuse him a little bit. But in the final analysis, he made the decision, I'm confident, which is best for him and also for Georgia. The group that Vince Dooley is a part of is now touring Europe, and Coach Dooley is taking time out while he's in Berlin to take a look at Mark Andrews, a member of the high school football team at the Berlin American High School. We ask him what he thinks of Mark Andrews. Uh, it certainly worked out and gave us an opportunity while I, I'm here in Berlin uh, to have an opportunity to visit with uh, Mark Andrews uh, and his coach and his parents. And uh, we are delighted that he is coming to the University of Georgia next year. We think that, uh, of course, the one thing that would be against him is the fact that he has not played in the top competition. But we do think that he has uh, good potential, and we're very excited about the fact that he will be uh, enroll to Georgia next year, and we're looking forward to him coming. For AFN News, I'm Air Force Sergeant Bedford C. Vickers.